Today we are going to talk about a petrol supply chain, a company which is responsible for providing petrol for 220 gas stations has some facility including two refineries, seven stocks in different places and a fleet of tanker trucks. This company is willing to define a project to optimize its supply chain cost. Project Charter addresses two main goals. First, minimizing cycle inventory related costs in the framework of QR policy. Second, minimizing cost of transportation system. Each of aforementioned goals has some assumptions. Assumptions in cycle inventory related costs are Demand is uncertain, but the stationary over time and distribution is none. Fixed order cost is $250 per order, interest rate 10%, cost of each 20k liter tanker is $12,000, annual holding cost is $1,200, back order cost $2,000, stack cap cost $200, and other given data are shown bold in the table 2 in the report. Cycle inventory related cost comprises following items in the framework of QR policy. Fixed setup cost, stack count cost, back order cost, and inventory carrying cost. This table shows summary of all QR policy calculations. In case you are curious about the detail of calculations, you could see the report. Let's take a look at the assumption of transportation system. There is a limitation which affects whole system. Although order are periodic, transportation fleet has its own limitation, which has to deliver petrol on a daily basis. Transportation cost is portion of distance, so a problem turn to minimum distance. In this table, we can see daily demand of refineries and stock, which has been brought from QR policy calculations in the report. You might notice the demands of refineries R minus. It is due to the fact that they are producer, not consumer. Before continuing the presentation, I must mention that the detail of QR policy calculations has been brought in the report. In order to keep presentation more interesting rather than boring, we brought daily demand from those calculations and we will chase the thread of project in transportation system. This network could illustrate more data than tabular form in an easier way. Here we can see the existing row between nodes with their distances. You might ask why some of the nodes are connected to each other with just one direction arrow. Is there anything missed here? No, nothing is missed. To answer this question, another assumption will be disclosed. Since there are some weight limitations for passing over the bridges, and the other hand, full tankers are flammable, here we just draw a loud pass for tanker uh, in full status. It is obvious empty trucks could return to their base in reverse direction. Using integer linear programming in this transportation problem could lead us to optimal solution. The goal in this problem is finding minimum distance traversed for meeting the demand of nodes. In order to meet all demand, total supply must be greater than the sum of demand. Fortunately, there is nothing wrong with this condition here. Our objective function is proportion of the distance between nodes and for writing constraint uh, for each node, we need to subtract outflow from inflow and put the expression greater than demand. Each decision variable must be integer and greater than or equal to zero. After solving the problem by CPLEX, the result has been brought here in tabular form. Interpretation of result is not difficult at all. For example, first row shows 50 trucks carry the petrol from node 1 to node 2. From this amount, destination of 36 trucks are node 2 and the rest uh, continue their trip toward node 5. Total one-way supply distance is 3000 km. Interpretation for following rows are the same. In this page, our network is illustrated once more, but the active paths are bold and yellow nodes are refineries. 
The number beside each edge is still distance. It would be possible to show the quantity of drugs traveling between nodes next to their house. But for the fear of confusing, it was ignored here. Decreasing a standard deviation of demand through a more precise forecast and lower lead time period could considerably decrease safety stock that put reorder points in much lower than current figures. It means fewer inventory carrying costs. The strategy of pool safety stock, which requires developing the facility of exchange petrol between stocks, provides another deduction in safety stock and reorder point level. In case there is any possibility to decrease or eliminate ordering cost, the model would approach closer to base stock model with ordering quantity of one at a time and the efficiency will increase. In case of any changes on cycle inventory related data due to aforementioned decisions, linear programming model must be revised. As recommendation and conclusion we must mention here, however, effect of different strategy on performance measure and ultimately total cost could be foreseen by changing input data in this project as a sensitivity analysis. This project is a good example of data-driven decision-making which is a corner a stone of Six Sigma methodology. At the end, thank you so much for taking your time to listen this report.